Hello chemists, this is Miss R and we're going to talk about how to do the Unit 2 lab on solubility. You need to go to this website and we'll show you that in just a moment. Um, it's HTML5 so it should work for absolutely everyone on any browser. Um, we're going to use uh, different chemicals. Some, one of them is drink mix, the rest of them have a chemical formula that you can see on the shaker or the dropper. We're going to use this meter here to tell what the concentration is and we're going to do some experiments um, varying the concentration. All of the directions for the lab are in the beginning here at the, and there are some data tables you need to fill out. There's a part one data table, there's part two data table, and there is part three analysis. So make sure that you're paying attention and you're filling out these data tables as I show you what to do. So our first instruction is to fill up the tank to one liter. You just pull this little nozzle here. And then we're going to bring the concentration meter over and we're going to use the drink mix to get to about half a mole per liter. Oh, I got a little bit over, that's okay. Now it asks us to drain the tank and we can use this here, this nozzle here to drain the tank. Now as you drain the tank, do you notice that the concentration is changing at all? write down what you observe. Following the rest of the directions, we're gonna reset here. We're gonna fill our tank to the ninth mark, so nine tenths of a liter. We'll show you where that is here. And for the rest of the trials for part one, we're gonna fill our tank one tenth less for every trial. This time, instead of drink mix, we're gonna use cobalt nitrate and we're going to try to get a solution of about um, two moles per liter. So let's pull over our concentration meter here and let's put in solid until we get about two moles per liter. Make sure you record the chemical formula of cobalt nitrate because you're going to have to figure out the um, mass per mole, the grams per mole. So I'm pretty close. There we go. So record your concentration here. Record your um, the chemical formula of cobalt nitrate here. And then we'll go over to the lab sheet and I'll show you where to put that. So here we are at the lab sheet. We know the formula, uh, the chemical formula of cobalt nitrate because it was on the shaker in the simulation. You can figure out the molar mass using the periodic table. The concentration was listed on the concentration meter, that little purple um, rectangle on the right side of the simulation. And you can figure out the moles of solute and the grams of solute um, using the chemical formula. So you can do the rest of this sheet. This You choose the chemical in the upper right hand side of the simulation. Write down the chemical formula on the shaker. Um, you can figure out the molar mass from the periodic table. Write down the concentration. Um, from the little concentration meter, that purple, and you can figure this out. Here's just a reminder, you can choose what compound you're using here. So the next one would be cobalt chloride and the concentration you would read right from here. So here's part two, we're gonna look at saturation. So instead of, we're gonna drain the tank and start over, we're gonna choose the dropper instead of the shaker and fill the tank to half a liter. And then we're going to use the switch to the shaker and add a solid until we reach saturation for the cobalt nitrate. 
and then we're going to record the concentration at the saturation point. So we're going to reset here and instead of using the shaker we're going to use solution. We're going to start with cobalt nitrate here and we're going to drain the tank. So we're just filling it with solution. We're going to fill it to half a liter. And remember, um, I got the solution over here by clicking this button here. Now we can use the concentration meter. We have five moles per liter. Now I switch to the solid and I add solid until I get to saturated. There we go. So write down the concentration here and make sure, of course, you write down the formula. So here's our first data table. We can write down the concentration at the saturation point that you'll get from the little meter in the simulation. Um, the moles required to saturate solution, that's um, divided by 0.5, since you're using 0.5 liters use the concentration on the little purple meter and divide it by 0.5. And then grams required to saturate the solution, just convert your moles to grams using the periodic table and the formula for cobalt nitrate. Uh, part one question, once the solution is saturated, the added solid does not dissociate. What does the excess do? I'll give you a hint. Look at the bottom of the tank. Um, and then you can answer question two and three after you do the rest of these solutions. Remember, you change the solution in the very upper right-hand corner of the simulation. I'm going to let you guys uh, tackle the rest of the lab on your own. Thanks so much for following this YouTube video. Oh, wait, I forgot part three. Let's show the part three procedure just really quickly here. You want to click Reset and create a sat saturated solution. 0.1 liters of cobalt nitrate and then you're going to work your way up creating a saturated solution all the way up by tenths of a liter. You're going to fill out this table and eventually make a graph. So I'll show you just really quickly how to do that. So hit the reset button um, drain the tank here, let the water out because we want just solution here. We're going to switch to cobalt nitrate. We're going to switch to solution here. We're going to fill it up to one tenth of a liter. And we're going to switch over to solid. Add solid till it's saturated. Okay, we've hit saturation. We're going to measure the concentration. Record our data and then switch back to solution, go up to 0.2 of a liter, add more solid until it's saturated, and then look at the concentration again. So make sure you write down your data and keep filling out that data table in part three and eventually make a graph. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.